Today I am going to introduce you to very powerful animation software Adobe Flash. First of all let us talk about Adobe Flash Elements. This is Toolbar. This is Timeline. This is Properties and this is Library. Then let us talk about its tool. The Selection tool help us to select the object and move as we need. Subselection tool help us to select the curves of the given object. Then Free Transform tool help us to, to rotate move and scale the object as we need the shortcut key for this tool is Q. Also we can see the anchor point at the center of the object. Act as a axis of a given object to rotate and scale the object as setting it as a center. 3D Translation tool help us to move our object in X axis and Y axis in a straight line. So you can get 3D Transform tool from Toolbar which help us to move the object in a 3D space. Lasso tool help us to select more free size selection which cannot we can do with selection tool. Ink bottle tool adds outline to your object. Pen tool is used to make more precise curves. It is important tool. Text to help you to type whatever as you want you can get more styles from the properties. Line tool help you to make line strokes and you can get more styles from the properties. The rectangle tool help you to make rectangles also you can get oval tool from the toolbar which help you to make circles and ovals different type and sizes. The pencil tool help you to make pencil strokes you can get more line styles from the properties. The brush tool help you to make brush strokes. The brush size in flash is not changes with zoom in and zoom out. The line deco tool help you to decorate your scene you can get decorating styles from the properties it is a cool tool of flash as we can see. Then the next tool is bone tool that help you to create a joint section of your objects. The paint bucket to help you to fill the color in the object. The eyedropper tool help you to, to get any color from the scene. The eraser tool help you to erase anything in the scene expect symbols. The hand tool help you to navigate throughout screen. Zoom tool help you to zoom in and zoom out throughout the screen. Fills and strokes. The stroke can be defined by the outline color of the circle and the color can be defined by the color inside the circle. Change the color of the fill. Also to show change the color of the stroke to green. If you are an animator then you can select the option be animator. If I want a classic look of the screen then you can select classic. If you debug style then you can select the debug. If you are then you can select designer option. If you want default you can select essential option. Then let's talk about symbols. To convert a symbol right click on the object then select convert to symbol you can show three more options movie clip graphics and button so hit ok. Types of symbol. As you can see there are two types of symbols one is graphic and other is movie clip. Movie clip plays only in public review but graphic can be plays on timeline. Movie clip have more styling features including filters than graphic. But button is only button. As you can see there is more filters and styles. If there is categorization related to tiles and filters then the movie clip can be placed on the top. The the button work only in action script file. Animation Many animator prefer Adobe Flash over other animation softwares. This is a simple ball animation. As you can see I am only placing and only scaling and rotating the same ball for making this animation. 
I am also maintaining the logic of ball bounce for making it more realistic and cool. Here as you can see the previous frames this is because I turn on the onion skin mode from the bottom of timeline. You can adjust the onion mode by shifting these two dots over frame side by side. Here onion skin outline mode by which you can see outlines of your object. Also you can change multiple frames by clicking edit multiple frames option. This is a useful option to edit multiple objects at the same time. Also you can see your animation looping by clicking on the loop option present in the, the bottom of the timeline. Double click to change the layer name you can add number of layers by clicking the insert layer. There is no limit. So you can group players folder. Why using delete button you can delete the layers. You can see outlines of your object by clicking on the box filled color. You can lock the layer by which you cannot access that layer. You can write the layer by clicking on the hide option. You can create number of frames by clicking F5 or insert frame option by right clicking on the timeline. You can create keyframe by clicking F6 key. You can create a blank keyframe by clicking F7 so this means it does not contain anything you can remove frames by right clicking and then remove frames. You can remove keyframe by right clicking and then clear keyframe. 